do. Natalie from Quilt Culture again. Just want to talk to you a little bit about the beauty of a stripology ruler. Now, Creative Grids is not sponsoring us to talk about these things, but we believe that good tools need to be, you know, spreading the joy. And if you're going to invest in something as a quilter, you want to invest in a good tool, something that is useful, something that makes quilting faster, easier. You know, far too many things in life are hard, and this does not need to be one of them. This is all about the joy. So like and subscribe and share this with your friends. We're going to do a little demo on the ruler, and uh, we'll show you how easy it is and versatile and how you can use it for just a ton of stuff. Okay, here we go. So we have a piece of fabric, all right? This is what the stripology looks like in the package. We sell the smaller one because I find that unless you do a ton, a ton, a ton of cutting, really this is big enough for you, but stripology does make the extra large, which I use all the time. And, uh, and I do a lot of cutting, so cutting those dime rolls, use this. All right, so what we do is we take our piece of fabric and we're going to need to fold our fabric, put the fold up to the selvage, right? Because the stripology cutting area is only this big to here. So this has to fit. All right, so we folded our fabric in half. It needs to fit in between. Your rotary cutter's only going to go from this little spot here to that little spot there, so clearly it's not going to cut uh, full with the fabric. So we fold it so that it's nice and even. And then I primarily use this just for cutting strips. I know there's other things you can do with it and all of that, but again, I'm not a you know, fancy person. I just like a good tool that makes certain things quick. So what I do is I take my stripology ruler and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off all of this crazy over here, right? We got to straighten up the edge. So my first cut is going to be in this first little groove and I want to line this up. It doesn't matter if it's lined up on the mat lines. What matters is that you line up this, either one of the white lines or the black lines, onto the folded edge because that's going to give you nice straight cuts and it's going to make sure that your uh, strips don't have that wonky little bend in them when we cut things that are not squared up. So move it down here and we're going to make sure that all the crazy is hanging off beyond this first line and then what we're going to do is I, I kind of lay on mine to hold it down to hold it secure but yeah, however you can hold it secure is fine. Some people put weights, whatever makes you happy. Whatever gives you joy, right? So, here we go. You stick your cutter in there, and we've cut off the crazy. Now what we have is we have one cut on the number 20 line, right? And let's just say that I want to cut five pieces of uh, two-inch binding, right? So I go 20. Ready? 18, 17, 16, 18, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, right? And what do we end up with? We end up with binding. Ta-da! Okay, so there you have it. How easy was that? And I think that Stripology makes cutting strips super easy. It's every half inch. You can cut your binding in like two seconds. It's fantastic. So I think we should do what the sign says. Let's scatter some joy.